Ben, when I do the uh, reverse prospect, when I load addresses and people in the system and then do the reverse lookup, does, mm -hmm. does Mojo filter those numbers out against the do not call list? You gotta watch the house today. Okay. You went through everything, leave the office all day. Okay, well, um, got a 9.15 walkthrough and then heading to a 10 o'clock closing. This is on a bridge loan though. So the way this bridge loan is set up is even though we have a 10 o'clock closing today, it doesn't fund until Friday. So we're gonna do another walkthrough Thursday at two o'clock. So um, let me get my keys out so we can get in the car and get out of here. Oh, man. I'm turning in two of my uh, three, three of my Better Homes and Garden Premier signs because it didn't really work out with Oklahoma's wind the way they have that sign design. The way they have that sign design. And I also really need to get some. Uh, let me switch you over to the car holder. Okay, I've got you on the car holder now. And we need to get out of here. We've got a We've got a 815 walkthrough like I just said. But um Yeah, switching out these premier signs, the Oklahoma wind tears these signs up. So I'm just going to get some 24 inch tall by 18 inch wide panels for my premier frames, my old ones, and I'm going to spray paint those white to meet corporate's standards, better home and gardens standards. So um, how was your guys this weekend? Did you guys have a good Passover weekend? Have you guys been eating unleavened bread every day? Have you gotten 11 out of your house? Um, my wife had a great conversation with me last week. She's like, uh, she goes deep, way deeper than me. I'm, I'm just a get things done type person. I'm not a deep person. She's deep. So she was asking me, what is some of the sins I've got to work on? Great question. And like I said, like I'm, I, I'm analytical, and I, and, and things of that nature. But as far as like that question, it just blew me away. I don't have an answer. So what I'm going to do today at the office is I'm going to print out. There's like 600 and X amount of laws. I'm going to print those out, and then I'm just going to highlight all the ones I need to work on. So. That's what I'm gonna do. But uh, all right, well, and to final walkthrough, I want to uh, shoot a little video on this house too when I get there. So if I have time and if I can coordinate it adequately, that's what I'll do. If not, I'll be able to shoot it on Thursday for the second final walkthrough. But um, stick around so you guys can see that house. All right, see you guys at the next one. As an independent contractor, I've got to keep track of my mileage. Uh, my accountant has me every month reimburse myself for mileage. So I'm constantly having to write it down. And I'm always constantly letting it slip my mind. So today is the 22nd. Got that squared away. Um, just got the phone the other agent that we're doing the first final walkthrough on today and then the second final walkthrough Thursday at 2. Uh, just making sure we're both on the same page. I'm not taking the key or anything from him from this house 
Ugh, I didn't have my coffee yet. Wait till I get to the office to get my coffee. I'm gonna wait to take the key from this house until I get to the uh, the second final walk. This first door, just making sure everything looks like it should. We're checking the repair and we're making sure the fridge is there. And then we'll go to closing, close, and then on Thursday we do this final walkthrough. Oh, there's a car on the road up here. Um, let me see if this guy will get out of my way so I can get over. Okay. Perfect. Do you guys move over when there's cars on the shoulder? Do you move over into the other lane to give them room? Ugh. If it's a uh, emergency vehicle or a tow truck, I believe Oklahoma has a law that says we have to do that. So, but I do it for regular people too because I, if someone's out there changing their tire or something like that, they don't need to be bothered by me whizzing by. Um, I got a flat once when I was on the highway and there wasn't any room to scoot over. So I was like right on the line changing a tire. God was watching out for me that day because nothing happened, luckily. All right, well, um, it is Monday morning traffic, even though it's already 9 o'clock. So I'm going to let you guys go, and I will talk to you later. Okay, this one is about uh, title companies and closers and processors and etc. Like, like a title company can really make the deal go easy or not. Right now, Lisa Calvin at Chicago Title she's been working on this file since 7 30 this morning I, the first email i got from her this morning was at 7 32 a.m <coughs> in an effort to help this buyer be able to close on this home as scheduled by 10 a.m i've seen probably six or eight emails come through on this specific file for these buyers 10 a.m closing this is this is just amazing this is why Having a good title company to help a buyer purchase a property is so important. Like, I'm not talking about about other title companies. All I'm saying is Lisa has been working on this file since 7.32 a.m. to make sure this buyer can close on it. And she's been talking with the bank, talking with the agents. She's been, she has been on top of it. Amazing. And, uh just can't say enough about her she does great work so if you need to close something in northwest oklahoma city i highly recommend sending that file over to lisa calman in chicago title all right I, I just wanted to put that out there real quick because uh, she's doing such a good job all right it is 9 12 and i'm probably six to seven minutes from the final walkthrough my associate is already there she's getting the house open and ready for the final walkthrough so this is another reason I highly recommend uh, co-brokering all your deals with people so that you each can play off your strengths and you each can help pick up the slack when one of them drops it I'm trying to see if I need to get in the slow lane or not but the person in front of me isn't going fast and the person behind me go fast. I'm going to go ahead and get over just in case there's a cop over the hill because I don't want the policeman to think that I'm just cruising in the fast lane. Uh, going back to working with people on your deals, it just helps out. You know, you're not always going to have time to do everything. And the cool thing about real estate, like Ricky Cruz says, business is infinite. Like, like you, if you do this job like a job and you're respectful, you do your job right, and you stay in touch with all your customers, you'll always be so busy that you never have enough time in the day to get all the work done. So, so um, just if you haven't found someone yet that'll, that you can help do deals with, I highly recommend it. The very first gentleman that I started doing deals with over 12 years ago, and I still do deals together. Like, we still help each other out. There's just so much involved in a real estate transaction that you can't do it all on your own. You just can't. All right, well, uh, that should be it until we get to the house for the final walkthrough, and I will see you guys in. All right, have any questions on anything we've discussed so far, put them down in the comments below. Let me know, and I'll get them answered.
Okay, so, um, all right, we are recording. All right, so the seller was at that final walkthrough, so I didn't get to shoot any video. So I'll shoot video Thursday. I will show up extremely early, early Thursday, shoot video on Thursday, and I need to get my gimbal out too to shoot a good walkthrough video with you on that home. Because if when I'm just using this, you can definitely tell when I'm taking steps. So I don't want you to have to deal with that on the walkthrough video. Closing went good. Stephanie closed this out. That's one of Lisa's closers, um, which is just fine. Stephanie's a great closer. The buyers were happy, even though we're having to do the three-day wait. They were happy. Uh, they were grateful, amazing people, amazing buyers. I cannot wait to get their house on the market and start working it hardcore to help them get that one sold. Um, now, I went and pulled a sign out of the ground on a listing that I withdrew while we are doing some looking into on some repairs. I had to withdraw that listing. That house is getting a new roof. That's cool. And now that I pulled that side of the ground, I've got to go get some new sandals from Academy. I like Academy Sports and Outdoors. It's a, I don't make any money off them or anything, but I just like them. They have a decent selection of things that I wear. And then I will go to the office and I'll try to I'll try to get some cold calling in and I'll record it for you guys. So you can see me do that. Now that takes a lot of editing because I'll dial 100 numbers, talk to 10 to 20 people, but only have maybe, you know, five or six good conversations. So that that's a lot of editing when I do that. So we're sitting at a stoplight right now. Oh, after closing, I went to the library over off MacArthur, 122nd. Their internet is amazing fast. What was taking me at my house over a day, over a day at least, um, uploaded and got and was taken care of in like 20 minutes. 20 minutes, that's freaking awesome. All right, so this light's not turning green yet. So that's it. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys at the office. All right, I'm gonna reach out to Mojo Cells and make sure that they're reverse prospecting. filters those contacts to the do not call list. I don't, you don't ever, in my personal opinion, you don't ever want to call anyone who's on the do not call list because that's a $10,000 fine. So let's give them a call real quick. Mojo Cells. And their customer service should be in today. And they have really good customer service too. So let's, uh, let's get this going. My phone picks it up and it did it. You reach Mojo Selling Solutions. Please choose from the following options. For sales, press 1. For customer support, press 2. I don't know why my phone's not picking up. My car's not picking up my phone. When I do the uh, reverse prospect, when I load addresses and people in the system and then do the reverse lookup, does uh -huh. does Mojo filter those numbers out against the do not call list? Uh, by default, it does. There's an option for you not to, but by default, it will. Okay, good, good. Okay, perfect. So, so if I, if by default, if I say yes, please do that, then... If those people haven't registered within 30 days, then, then they should be good to call. Correct, yep. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ben. All right, thanks. Have a good day. All right, you too, sir. Thank you. Bye. You guys heard that? Um, it does 
filter out those numbers against the do not call list. So that is very good. $10,000 fines are not anything you should seek out in your life. $10,000 is 5% down on a 200k purchase. Like, I, I don't know. I know some people dial it, dial people that are on the do not call list, but I, I don't. No thank you. I don't want any of that.